The district of Kajiado runs south from Nairobi along the Rift Valley. There are two rainy seasons, one in the fall, the other in the spring. Between the rains, the land dries out quickly. Over the years, wells and boreholes were constructed, but they were not maintained, and sand dams, like this one, silted in. They were losing a lot of animals. Like in one month, a person would lose all more than 60 animals. That's only cows. We're not talking about goats and sheep. So what would have happened here with the current climatic condition, the weather? The people would have lost a lot of animals. Okay, the nearest water source that I've heard about is on this side called Bisri. Bisri is about seven kilometers this side. And it's a bit far that people can't walk to that place. Faced with a crisis, the Kajiado District Committee of the National Council of Churches of Kenya implemented a drought recovery project, bringing together community groups, churches, and government ministries. Water is a big problem, particularly in the marginal areas of the country. Uh, as you realize, this country, uh, about um, 50 or 60 percent of the country semi is arid or semi-arid. Uh, the rain circle is uh, a bit erratic in this uh, part of the, the, the world. So that affects, because most of our people rely on rain to grow food. We do not have irrigations in those areas. And this is uh, uh, the cause of food deficit that was experienced last year. Out of that, uh, NCCK, uh, through uh, uh, her partners like uh, United Church of Canada, did actually come up with the interventions to assist the local community to uh, at least uh, minimize the challenges that were facing in terms of food security. One of the first priorities was to rehabilitate nine dams in the area and train the community to operate and maintain them. This water will last until the next rains come in a few months. At this project, people and animals use the same pond the second phase of the project is designed to safeguard the water. We have dam committees, dam management committees for every of the dams that you are doing. We are finding that they already existed. And what we have been trying to do is get these dam management committees and train them on the safe usage of water to avoid contamination. The sand dam rehabilitation is one part of a larger program of food security for people in the region. Okay, what was most important to us was the aspect of capacity building. And uh, in the capacity building arena, we held uh, a workshop in Machakos where we got leaders from this area, the district, uh, okay, some officers from the government ministries and our people who are trained on disaster management and preparedness. And then we also had a field day where farmers were taught on new technologies of farming to do with livestock rearing. They were taught on how to make uh, silage, uh, how to bundle hay in uh, bales. Uh, they were also taught how to preserve milk and such, things which pertain to pastoralists. And then we also had an our project another activity uh, where we are, we are trying to identify the needy women, mostly widows, and we were trying to give them something to help them. We were giving them goats to help them uh, just sustain them. <laughs> 